Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, My Project Ideas. In this session, we will see how to control I-18N translations using multiple I-18N files in SAP UI5. Let's get started by creating a basic UI5 application from template. Okay, so let's run this application. Now that our application is able to run, let's write some code in it. I would like some dummy content in this. Let's check this out. Now that this is properly visible, this text is in English. Let's put this text inside I18N. Okay, let's use this. Okay. Now, what's next step would be to create our language I18N file. So let's create another file. First file that I will create is for English. Okay. 
and I will copy the same in this. Okay. Second, I will call create a new file. For German. And I will also create another file for let's say Spanish. Okay, so now that we have three language files, one is for English, Spanish, and German. So let's translate this text. First of all, I'll copy all the text in this. And then let's translate this. Let's open Google Translate. Put in this, change it to German. Copy this. Replace the text. Let's leave the rest as it is. We just want this description text to be translated. Similarly, I'll do the same for Spanish. Let's copy this text. So we don't need this anymore. Uh, okay, just need to copy everything here. Copy this, paste. All right, we have three files, English, German, and Spanish. Next step would be some changes in the manifest file. Let's go to models. This is a bundle name. Here we will add another property called supported locales. In this array, we'll have to provide all the language that we have created. First is en Spanish and D for German. Okay, we have another one called fallback locale. That means which will be the default one. Let's save this. Let's refresh and see whether everything still works. Okay, let's check whether our language translation works. In on init, we will write a code for the language translation that is fp.py dot code get code dot get configuration dot get language okay. capital L and for this we need to put in the language that we want that is DE for German let's 
check it out. So you see, our language has changed to German as we did in the on it function. We don't want this code for now. This is only for the testing purpose. What we'll do is in the view, we will create a drop down. Okay, inside which we will create core. Item. And text is English. We'll put the fourth selection true to keep the default English selected as the content will always be in English in the starting. And then we'll put a change event. Let's write this code. Right. Let's write this function. Okay, so let's get the selected item. Now that we have got the key, the only thing remaining is to change the language. Our function is complete. Before testing it out, let's change some things over here as well. Instead of this in the content, I will put this into the header. Let's test this out. Okay, so now that this is in English, let's change it to German. You see, the text has been translated to German. You change it to Spanish, it's in Spanish. This is how you can use multiple I18N files in different languages and control it using your controller. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.